Hey, it's Nathan. I haven't done one of these math PhD update things in a while, so I figured that since I just finished my first year of my PhD program, now would be a good time to go ahead and do one of those videos. Uh, I do have some like notes on how it went, so I might be looking off into space uh, to see what I wrote about what I reflected on um, just earlier today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go through stuff. Uh, so first off, how did it go? Independent of my own standards, it went great. Uh, here, are, here are my grades if you're interested in the letters, but uh, I feel like I didn't do great, uh, especially in the second semester, but my grades say otherwise. So the year in total was mostly review. The second semester is where some new stuff was brought into play, so um, algebra, the like the middle third of algebra was um, on module theory, which is something I had never worked with before. So that was interesting and new to me. And then for the analysis stuff, the the second half of, or like probably more like the, the latter two thirds of the second semester of analysis stuff was on general measure theory and real analysis f or topology for real analysis and a lot of those things I had seen before but um, didn't have like a rigorous understanding of them and so it was great because a lot of my uh, bad intuition was pointed out uh, so it just you know made me a better math person which is great um, even though I was not happy about how well I performed during that time it just means that during the a period of the class, I did not perform at my standard uh, and did not have a a knowledge of the material up to my standard. But again, like the grade says I did fine, uh, which is something I will feel eventually. And then lastly, for courses that took place in the second semester, I had a topology class. It was just an intro topology class. I really phoned it in uh, for the most part, um, which is something I probably shouldn't have done. But it happened, it is now over, and I will be taking more topology next year. So unlike the video I did of last semester's stuff where I like broke down my grades in each particular class into like what I got on particular assignments and whatnot, I didn't do that with this video because I did not grab that data before it was made unavailable to me, which, because we're after the semester has ended and all that fun stuff, which is, which is fine. Uh, even though I don't feel super great about my overall performance, uh, I did meet the benchmark that I set for myself in a previous one of these videos, so I should feel okay. I just need to need to take some time to get there, right? Um, of and that benchmark was doing like average or mostly above average uh, in terms of how I did compare to my peers in the class. So. In that respect, I can say like I did well by by the benchmark that I set for myself. And meeting that benchmark is something that I just need to keep remembering when I think about how things went, uh, especially with finals. Finals were not a great day for me this semester. Um, I did not do well on them uh, in terms of like me competing with, you know, the 100% that is possible, right? I think this was probably the worst I've ever done on final exams in my entire life. I made some pretty elementary mistakes on them uh, that honestly, like at this point in my mathematical career should not have happened. Uh, and that is something that I just need to like, you know, keep in mind for the future. Even though I'm not super confident about how things went, especially with this past semester, um, and with the year overall, uh, one thing I'm confident about is that I never, ever, 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 ever want to take a Zoom class ever again. Um, I'm totally okay with never doing like a webinar or anything like that in my lifetime. Uh, will I have to teach one of those classes? Maybe, which is unfortunate. Um, but that is how I feel about Zoom classes. Uh, it is projected to be out of my life five ever um, at, in the fall. So that's good. And so aside from that one 
thing that I'm confident about. Uh, it's probably a good thing that I don't feel 100% about this year and more specifically uh, this past semester because I have qualifying exams to study for and feeling like I don't fully understand the material is just more motivation to go ahead and dive into those subjects and study them more rigorously. I signed up to take two of them, uh, the algebra qual and the analysis qual, because those are the two core classes that I took this past year that are, you know, supposed to like develop the ideas that you need in order to pass those quals or at least expose you to them. And then you study those more rigorously over the summer and then take it in the fall or over winter break, however it works out. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to take both of them at the end of the summer. Um, right now I am signed up for both of them. So there's the possibility to take both of them. I'm going to study for both of them. Uh, but I really, really want to take analysis. However, all of the evidence that has been presented to me via the feedback I've gotten on homework has told me that I am better at communicating in algebra than I am at communicating in analysis, which is unfortunate because I, I want to do analysis. But that also sort of tells me that maybe I should take the algebra qual and not the analysis qual. So aside from all of the academic stuff, I was a TA uh, the entire year for calculus recitations. So I did two in the fall and two in the spring. In the fall, it was all online. In the spring, it was all in person. I guess the only thing that was hard about TAing is that I am an early bird. I wake up super, super early around like 4.30 to 5.30 a.m. And I just immediately start working on this stuff, my own math research, or I exercise. Um, and so TAing in the afternoons from what it was, it was what, 3.30 to like 5.30-ish, and then have a, about like 30 minutes to an hour of extra tasks that have to happen because of all of the coordination stuff that goes along with uh, running a classroom as either a teacher or a TA um, goes. I was up working for a long period of time during those days, uh, starting, you know, like, like around 12 hours or more. But I'm definitely a lot happier doing 12 to 14 hour days of math stuff than I was doing 12 to 14 hour days at my job before I went to grad school. So all in all, not really a super negative experience there. I forgot to do this earlier in the video, but figured I'd throw it in here because visualizing the amount of stuff that I typeset or law tech this year like helps me feel a little bit better about the amount of work I did in comparison to the quality of the work that I feel I have done. Um, this is that number. I, uh, I believe it's 412. It is 412. I, I typed that 412 pages of math <laughs> this semester, um, cut across these subject areas or, uh, responsibilities. And so that's, a, that's a lot, uh, which is, it's kind of cool to look back and be like, I wrote 400 pages of material uh, on something. Not all of it was 100% correct, right? Because I didn't feel good about how I did last semester. That's the theme of this video. Um, but it's a lot. That's like a book. Um, so that's kind of cool to just think about uh, briefly. Anyway, just that was for me. Moving on. So now that the year is over and we're now in the summer or the academic summer, um, I, I have stuff that's happening. I definitely thought that I would have a little bit more time to just like collect myself after the train wreck of finals that occurred, but uh, that is not what happened. Things sort of just like picked up really quickly and the caveat to me saying all of that is this is all 100% self-inflicted. Uh, I signed up for all of these things, uh, to make sure that one, I have some form of monetary support over the summer because this doesn't pay the bills yet, right? And then also because I want to do research stuff. Um, so what's happening this summer? Uh, first off, um, applied for support uh, and I get to teach a class as a result of that. So uh, that'll happen at like in 
in June, uh, essentially just the whole month of June, I'll be teaching one of the summer courses, uh, and it's going to be like a, just a topics of math class that goes over a lot of different things, but it's not necessarily preparation for calculus, um, at all. So I'm not sure how that's going to go, but even though it's going to happen in June, I still have to like figure out what I'm teaching and, uh, how to structure stuff to make sure it fits my teaching style and all of that. So that's what's happening right now. I'm sort of doing that, um, currently, uh, and then along with the teaching stuff, there's research stuff. So, um, I'm helping out uh, with a, a project on non-differentiable functions, uh, and the theory behind that. So just like a total rejection of calculus, that's, that's not entirely true. That's what I say when people ask me about what type of math I like. I like math that rejects calculus in some way, but a lot of the stuff that I do, um, in that realm of math is using calculus ideas to sh show that functions are not as you like them in calculus. Along with the non-differentiable functions thing that I am helping out with, uh, one of the uh, professors approached me uh, to run m my own like undergraduate research project. And so uh, I was going to put out this video like a week ago, uh, but that week went into me just like diving into papers and figuring out what topics I think would be viable for an undergraduate research project. It's probably going to be something about symbolic dynamics. If it's not about symbolic dynamics, it's going to be about some like um, number theory and sequence analysis type stuff. But I, I don't really want to get into details because it's going to be much cooler to talk about it when it's actually a paper <laughs> and not when it's just this like mild fever dream that Nathan has about this math thing that may or may not work out. Right. So, um, I give my like pitch of that, uh, I think like tomorrow, uh, or at least we have like the first like logistical meeting for it tomorrow. And then at the next meeting, I'll give my pitch, something like that. I'm writing up like a, like a document that's like, this is what we plan to work on. Um, and so, uh, I'm working through that right now too. And then of course, quals or qualifying exams to study for, which I already mentioned earlier, so I'm not going to get into that again. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially how things are going. Um, it's, it's a lot, uh, of stuff to do. And I definitely feel just like a little bit overwhelmed saying it all out loud, but, uh, I generally do pretty good in high pressure situations. So I just like, you know, not the finals from last semester, but yeah, that's essentially where I'm at. And that's, that's the update. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I have a whole slew of other math stuff on this channel, ranging from like super dense about particular subjects and kind of like laxer things that just sort of give you an explanation of where you go with math. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more of me documenting my PhD experience along with all the other math things I do here. As always, I am Nathan, this one was Chocolates, and I will see you next time.